And this is Lady Manjere from Australia. She has come with severe pain in the back and in the legs due to disc bulges. Jesus Christ is healing her right now. For previously, she underwent an operation and was due for another one. Be healed in Jesus' holy name. This is a special prayer for the Lord Jesus Christ. Now removing this compression socks she has been wearing. Jesus, I can walk. I can walk properly now, no pain. The prayer made in faith by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, flushed out all the pain in the life of Lady Manuere all the way from Australia. The following morning, she gave her wonderful testimony as you can witness. My name is Akinata Nancy Manuere. I am coming from Australia, originally from Zimbabwe. I'm coming with a lower back pain for the last six years. So the pain started at work as a nurse. So when the pain started, I went to my local doctor and the local doctor did an MRI, which showed that I had some bulged discus and a nerve that was being pinched. So the discus that were affected were L3-4, L4-5. So the doctor prescribed some Panadol for me and some steroid injections. So that continued the rest of 2019, but the pain continued to get worse. So I continued going to my local doctor because the pain was becoming unbearable. So he decided to refer me to a spinal doctor. So he referred me to a spinal doctor who also prescribed some steroid injections. So the steroid injections continued from 2020 until the beginning of 2024. However, the steroid injections were not helping me at all. They were actually making the situation worse because I was reacting to a lot of them. And I was also given a lot of painkillers which were not helping. Until last year, the pain got worse. It started to go down to my right leg going to the back of the right leg, to the knee, and it was also affecting more of the left leg. It was going to the buttock because the nerves were pinched and to the lower leg and to the toes. So this left leg became very numb for the last two years. The spinal surgeon said, we have given you enough spinal injections and the pain was unbearable. So 2018, end of 2018, he did another MRI which showed the worsening discs, the bulge discs were worsening and the nerves that were pinched were worsening. So I said, I can't do any other thing other than having a surgery. We have to do surgery. These are my medical reports. This is the MRI that I had in December, which showed that the discs had changed. They had worsened. We're looking at this medical report from PRP Diagnostic Imaging in Australia. It's a medical report that belongs to Lady Akinata Manyere. This is where she went with a history of pain in her lower back with pain in the right lower leg. So they took an MRI study of her lumbar spine where they noted several abnormalities and they noted she had disc degeneration at L3, L4 and L4, L5 levels. They also noted impingement of the descending left L4 nerve root and in addition, they also noted impingement on the thicker sac and the descending left L5 nerve root. They also noted impingement of the exiting component of the left L4 nerve root. This was the cause of the pain that she had. I have had the pain for the last six years. So because of the worsening condition of my back and uh, it was so hard for me to still continue to go to work and do house chores, so we went on with the surgery. The doctor booked me for the surgery. As shown on the pictures here, that's me in hospital when I had the endoscopic L3-4, L4-5 decompression of the discus so that they could relieve the nerves from the pain that were causing me the pain and the left leg numbness. So I had to wear these compression socks to prevent some blood clots after surgery and to help with the swelling and the numbness that was on my legs. So these compression socks, these are the ones that I continued to wear even I was discharged because of the swelling on the legs 
and the numbness and the pain that I was going through. So after I was discharged, uh, the doctor said to me I had to be on bed rest for six weeks, then I'll start physiotherapy. I started physiotherapy after six weeks, but just before I started physiotherapy, even though I had surgery, when I was discharged, I was discharged in a lot of pain still. I was thinking after surgery, I'll see a huge difference because they said they're going to relieve me from the pinching of the nerves. However, I did not see that. I went home like that, but I thought maybe after six weeks and when I start physio, that will get better. However, I didn't get better. I stayed home on the bed rest, taking painkillers for the six weeks, but the pain was still bad. I started the physiotherapy that was prescribed, but the pain will get worse each time I go to physio, such that the physiotherapist had to talk to the surgeon to say we could not continue with the actual physiotherapy at the department. So they had to give me some exercises to do at home, which I was doing as well as taking painkillers. But none of that helped. So since I had surgery, my condition worsened. I could not sit. Before that, it was hard for me to sleep before surgery, even though it was also hard to sit. But after surgery, I became worse. I could not sit for a long time. I could not walk. I could not do any chore that a mother can do. I was in a lot of pain, and that became very hard on my husband and my children. And I became very helpless. So January up until I came here on Saturday, I was helpless. I could not do anything, and I became physically and psychologically affected. So when I tried the physio, after three months, the doctor said, come back, we do another MRI. So I did another MRI, which I didn't manage to bring. I missed it. So the situation had worsened. So he said, I will book you for another fusion, but let's just wait. So that's to put some screws and wires on the back. So we waited for another two months. He said, come back and we see how you go before we actually book it. So I went back in June. So the doctor decided to book me for the spinal fusion. And this spinal fusion was booked for this next Friday, the 20th. But because of the pain I was going through, just the first surgery didn't work for me. I wasn't very hopeful to have the spinal surgery. That's still booked for this 20th, but I'm not going to have it anymore. So my cousin's sister, knowing that I've been sick, I've been in this pain for the last eight months, she said, sis, there is Kakande Ministries. She sent me a link. She said, can you just go through this link? That was two months ago. So I started to watch the videos from Prophet Kakande. So when I started watching the videos, I just saw that people were being helped and I knew that that where my help was gonna come from. On Saturday morning, I was privileged to be put on the prayer line. Before I was put on the prayer line, it was so hard for me to walk. And the man of God prayed for me on Saturday. When he came and prayed for me, I felt a huge force, like a huge weight was lifted from me. And I felt like an electric shock. And when he said, get up and walk, I could start to walk. The things that I could not do, I started doing. I could walk and I could run and I could sit. Even when I was waiting for the prophet to pray for me, it was very difficult for me to sit on the chair. I think some people saw that. It was hard for me to walk. It was hard for me to sit on the chair. This is how I was walking. I think a few people saw me walk like this. I couldn't walk at all because the left leg was so painful and my back was so sore. It was so hard for me to walk and I was in a lot of pain and this leg was in a lot of pain. But when I was prayed for, now I can walk. I can even wear heels. I have never, I haven't worn heels for almost a year. That's the first day I've managed to wear heels. That's me wearing heels today. And sitting for me was also hard. I think when I was sitting, I had to be very careful when I'm sitting. I had to watch and I would sit so slowly. And even when I was sitting, I had to keep on moving to change position. Even when I was waiting for the prophet, I think a lot of people who were behind me kept wondering what I was doing. I had to keep moving like this. But now I can sit without problems. I can sit first. I don't need to move anymore. Like in church yesterday, I sat the whole session without having to move. I didn't even feel the pain.
I'm not going to have the surgery anymore. I'm healed. I'm not going to wear this anymore. I'm healed. And I would like to say to my husband and kids, you are going to get the original mother that you know, your original copy of the mother that you know, the true copy original of me. Because I was not a mother that they used to know anymore. I was just there. They were helping me with everything. And to my local Zimbabweans, I was, I was speaking my language. I would like to say to all Zimbabweans, we are ministries To my fellow Australians, I would say if you have any issues that you are going through in life, come to the Kakande Ministries. There is nothing that's impossible here. Where God has told you to go, you will get a blessing. And I want to thank God for healing me, and I want to thank Prophet Kakande for praying for me. And I want to thank everyone in the Kakande Ministries. Glory be to Jesus Christ. For Jesus. My name is Flora Elirehema from Tanzania. Man of God, I have a severe lower back pain for six years. Here are my medical reports from Apollo Hospitals, India, and another one from Tanzania. We are looking at this medical report from Apollo Hospitals in India. It's a discharge summary for Sister Flora Elirehema Masalengwe from the Department of Neurosurgery. This is where she was attended to by quite a number of doctors, among whom Dr. Manoj Kagarwala, who is in charge of endovascular specialization and also an interventional cardiologist. Also Dr. Samantha, Dr. Rabindera Nath, and all these other doctors. And as indicated here, because she reported with pain in her lower back, radiating to both lower limbs. So when the doctors examined her, she was diagnosed with neurogenic radiation, that's it, to do with spinal canal stenosis, together with L5S1 right upward migrated disc prolapse and grade one listhesis at L4, L5 with canal stenosis and bilateral L4, L5 facetoarthritis. So with all these complications, she was carried through surgical procedures, as clearly indicated, they did write L5S1 microendofenestration, flavectomy, retrieval of the extruded disc fragment, and L5S1 disectomy. So all this is an explanation of what the doctors did in trying to aid her condition, in spite of which, even after the operation, here is another medical report from the United Republic of Tanzania, Ministry of Health, Mohimbili Orthopedic Institute, these are radiology investigations concerning Lady Flora Mazelengwe. When they examined her total spine, they noted still that she has got abnormalities, as indicated, semicolodosis is lost. And also, they noted that she has got grade one modic changes affecting her vertebrae. Together with all this, as clearly outlined here, so she was diagnosed still with cervical and lumbar muscle spasms together with cervical spondylodiscopathy with moderate broad-based disc bulges at C3, C4, C4, C5 levels associated with anterior thickal indentation at the given levels together with lumbar hypodiscopathy. So all these are abnormalities indicated and of course the pedicular screws are still intact because previously she underwent surgery with broad-based disc bulges at various levels, L3, L4, L4, L5. All these are the abnormalities, and this report being given by the medical officer, Magda Mohammed. If you take a look on the screen, you can see this X-ray image. You can clearly see her name's indicated there. 
This is what the doctors did. They inserted these scrolls. They did all that they could, but in spite of which, the lady continues in so, so much pain. Look at the agony she has on rising up, brethren. Lady Flora has got so, so much pain, and she uses a cushion to support the back, same time as the lumbar corset for support. Sit. It's now six years of pain. In the mighty name of Jesus. The man of God is now stretching out his hand in prayer for Sister Flora to be healed from this agonizing pain. Watch, brethren. Mighty name of Jesus. The march. I command you in Jesus' holy name. Lose your grip. Fire on you. Father, thank you. Glorify your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, raise up and go. sat in the shadow of death have seen a great light. This is the light which is now about to shine in your business. Whatever pain in your business, the light has come. Begin to rejoice. Jina langu naitwa Flora Eli Rehema natokea Tanzania. My name is Flora Rehema. I come from Tanzania. Nilikuwa nasumbuliwa na tatizo la maumivu ya mgongo ambapo nilifanywa operation mwaka 2022 katika hospitali ya Apollo India. I've been having back pain and I underwent an operation. Lakini bado nilikuwa napata macho Umivu makali sana baada ya operation na nilikuwa siwezi kutembea kwa haraka siwezi kukimbia siwezi kusimama after na, the operation i experienced a lot of pain i was not able to walk i was not able to stand because of the pain after the operation nilikuwa siwezi kukaa bila kuweka support ya mto huu hapa I was not able to sit on a chair unless I used this support on my back. Nikikaa bila mto nilikuwa naona kama kuna kisu kinanikata hapa mgongoni. When I used to sit without this support I used to feel as though there's a knife cutting me on my back. Lakini nilivyoombewa na mtu wa Mungu when after the man of God prayed for me Niliona kitu kizito kinatoka kwenye mwili wangu. I saw a very heavy thing leaving my body. That is when I felt my body is very light. That is when I was able to stand very quickly. And I started running, walking. Right now I'm seated, I'm not using the support on my back. I have no pain at all. Thank you, Jesus. Watu wa Tanzania na wajulisha kwamba hapa Kakande Ministry yupo mtu wa Mungu ambapo Yesu aliye mahali hapa ni Yesu aliye hai anaponya hakuna linaloshindikana hali yangu ilikuwa ni mbaya lakini sasa hivi mimi ni mzima kabisa na mtukuza Mungu
the Lord Jesus Christ instantly healed Lady Flora all the way from Tanzania through the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Be blessed as you listen to her testimony the following morning. My name is Flora Elirehema Mazelengwe. I come from Tanzania. Nilifika Kakande Ministry kwa sababu ya matatizo nilionayo ya mgongo kwa mda wa miaka sita. I came to Kakande Ministries because of the problem I had. This is back pain. I've had this back pain for a period of six years. Nilitembea katika hospitali nyingi kwa ajili ya kutafuta matibabu. Lakini I... sikuweza kupata kupona. This made me to visit different hospitals but after the treatment I was not able to recover. Miaka miwili iliyopita nilienda kupata matibabu zaidi nchini India na nilifanywa operation. Two years ago I had to travel to India for further medication and that is where I did an operation. Lakini baada ya kufanywa operation bado maumivu yaliendelea mpaka nilipo pata habari za mtumishi wa Mungu uh, prophet Samuel Kakande in India I underwent an operation when I came back I did not recover uh, the, after that that is when I got information about prophet Samuel Kakande baada ya kufika hapa nilipata bahati kubwa sana ya kuwa maombi I was very privileged when I came to Kakande Ministry to be put on the prayer line. Uh, Prophet Samuel Kakande baada ya kuniombea niliona kama kuna kitu kinatoka kwenye mwili wangu nikajua ya kwamba sasa nimepokea uponyaji. So when I was in the prayer line Prophet Samuel Kakande came he laid his hands on my forehead he felt something leaving my body and after that I discovered I was totally healed. Ndipo mtumishi wa ndipo mtumishi wa Mungu Professor Samuel Kakande aliponiambia inuka umepona After that that is when I heard the voice of Prophet Samuel Kakande telling me rise up you are healed Na mshukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu kabla ya mtumishi wa Mungu kuniombea nilikuwa siwezi kutembea haraka Nilikuwa siwezi kukaa muda mrefu, nilikuwa siwezi kusimama muda mrefu. Nilikuwa siwezi kukaa bila kutumia mto maalumu ambao nilielekezwa na daktari. Lakini pia daktari aliniandikia kutumia uh, mkanda maalumu kwa ajili ya kunisaidia maumivu ya mgongo. So I really thank God and I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande because previously to sit was very difficult for me. I had a lot of pain. To stand for a long time was difficult. I was not able to walk properly before the prayer, but I thank God because after that I'm able to walk. And I had gone to the doctors and they recommended me to have a lumbar corset and a special cushion to support my back. Huu hapa ni mtu ambao nilikuwa natakiwa nikae nao popote ninapokaa kwenye kiti ninaposafiri kwa sababu bila mtu huu ndipo napata maumivu makali. This is a special cushion I was recommended to buy by the doctor. I was supposed to use it when I'm seated, when I'm traveling, or when I'm somewhere resting. I was supposed to use it because without using it, I used to have very sharp severe pains. Nilikuwa naweka mto kama hivi na nilikuwa inabidi nishike kiti ili kuhakikisha kwamba huu mto uko sawa. Alafu ninashuka taratibu nikiwa nashika kiti na kuweka mto vizuri ndipo naweza kuketi so previously i used to put the special cushion on a chair then i used to sit very very slowly and carefully so that when i sit the special cushion is supporting my back lakini pia nilikuwa natumia huu mkanda wakati wote nilikuwa nafunga kuzunguka uh, mgongo pamoja na kuja tumboni kwa sababu ya kunishika sehemu ya mgongo. Also previously I used to use this lumbar corset and I used to tie it on my waist so that it can help me to support my back. Namshukuru Mungu baada ya kuombewa na mtumishi wa Mungu 
Prophet Samuel Kakande sitaji tena hivi nimeweza kukaa tangu nilipoombewa Jumamosi bila kutumia hivi kutumia cushion wala mkanda na nakaa vizuri I really thank the almighty God I also thank Prophet Samuel Kakande because after the prayer I am not using the special cushion I'm not using the lumbar corset on Sunday we sat for a long time and I did not use this neither did I have any pain whatsoever Namshukuru Mungu naweza kutembea haraka tofauti na nilivyokuwa nikitembea hapo mwanzo Really naweza thank kutembea God. kama miss I can walk very fast Naweza kutembea kwa haraka I naweza can... kukimbia pia I can Na walk Naweza kukimbia I can even run Sasa hivi naweza kukaa bila kutafuta namna ya kujishika nakaa vizuri nasimama vizuri nakaa nasimama bila kutafuta support ya kunifanya nisianguke naweza kukaa naweza kusimama right now namshukuru Mungu after the prayer you can see i'm able to sit i'm able to rise again without any support i can sit and stand without any pain i'm really really thankful to the almighty god for the healing Thank you. Namshukuru sana Mungu kwa ku niuleta hapa kwa mtumishi wa Mungu Prophet Samuel Kakande. Namshukuru Bwana Yesu kwa kuniponya lakini pia namshukuru mtumishi wa Mungu Prophet Samuel Kakande kwa kuniombea utukufu kwa Yesu. Amen. As you have seen after the prayer I'm able to walk I'm able to run even faster I really thank prophet Samuel Kakande for the prayers and I thank the almighty God for the healing Nina waeleza wa Tanzania wenzangu ambao wana matatizo kama yangu ya kuumwa mgongo lakini na matatizo mengine yoyote wafike uh, Kakande Ministry kwa sababu hapa kuna uponyaji na ufungulivu Asante Yesu kwa kuniponya. Thank you Jesus Tukufu for healing. Mungu. Glory be to Jesus Christ the wonderful healer. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. My name is uh, Faith Matomola. I'm a Zambian, but reside in the uh, USA. Um, man of God, I have uh, very much pain that's on my back that goes through my legs and prove it too. And it makes my body um, numb, like my finger, they're, they're numb. And I got my medical report here from touch, uh, touchstone imaging and uh, Thornton. We're looking at this medical report from Touchstone Imaging Thornton in USA. It's a medical report for Lady Matomola Faith. This is where she went and the doctors attended to her for she was complaining of pain in her lower back following a motor vehicle accident that she suffered some time in the past. So here they took MRI examination of her lumbar spine where they noted that there are abnormalities, among which they noted that at L4, L5, there is right central disc herniation superimposed on a disc bulge, the combination of which narrows the spinal canal. And again, at L5, S1, they noted there is posterior central disc herniation superimposed on a disc bulge, the combination of which indents the thicker sac. So this, as indicated, is the cause of her pain, together with more abnormalities, as indicated here, they noted she has got another disc herniation at L4, L5. So this all is the cause of the pain that she has, and this medical report is being given to us by Dr. Michael Connolly. So presently, Lady Faith has got difficult in rising up, as you're watching, 
Chest got difficult in walking, difficult in standing, sitting, squatting. Then we found a friend so fair. The man of God is now stretching out his hand in the name of Jesus Christ, praying for sister faith to be healed. The man of Jesus. Watch, brethren, as the reaction. In the <laughs> See what is happening. Be healed. The man of Jesus Christ. What is this special process of healing that is going on for sister faith? The people who sat in the region in the shadow of death, they have seen a great light. Sickness is the shadow of death. Light has dawned. Woman, rise up and go, you are free. Brethren, the Lord Jesus Christ has set sister faith free. She's now rising up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Faith. Um, I'm originally from Zambia. I was born in Zambia and raised in Zambia. I'm just residing in the U.S. Um, January, I had an accident that uh, led to all this. When man of God was praying for me, I just felt something push me back. Yeah, so I don't know, but I was hearing myself screaming. I couldn't control it. So I feel so good. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Vivian Booth. I'm from Jamaica in the West Indies. And um, I've been diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis, which causes a pain in my back, a severe pain in my back, which radiates to my leg and then my knees and in my lower feet. This has been happening for the last three years, but has progressed to be worse. I had done more than one x-rays. This is the final, the latest one that I have done from Apex Radiology in Kingston, Jamaica. We're looking at this medical report from Apex Radiology in Jamaica. It's a medical report for Lady Vivian Bothe. Here is where she was referred by Dr. Millicent Broderick to have an x-ray done of her lumbar spine. So when they took this x-ray, they noted that she has got L5 pulse interticularis defect, together with lumbar spondylosis. This is the cause of the pain that she has got in the back, has been confirmed by Dr. Lisanne Levy, the consultant radiologist. Now she has got difficult in rising up, walking, bending, and squatting. As she stands before the man of God, he's offering her this prayer in Jesus' name. It is time to flash out this darkness of pain. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, see how she has started yielding to the prayer being offered unto her. Remember, she came in so much difficulty in bending. And now as the prayer is going on, see how she's being unable to bend. See what is happening, brethren. She's being enabled even to kneel under the influence of the Holy Ghost power. Go, you are free. Thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lady Vivi has been declared free. Now it's her time to walk freely. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm feeling better. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Clap, clap for Jesus Glory Christ. to God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thanks be to Jesus Christ. The healer.
are your friend? The faithful friend, Jesus Christ, instantly healed Lady Vivian both all the way from Jamaica. And she was totally set free from all pain after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following day, she joyfully shared her testimony to God's glory. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am called by the name of Vivian Booth and I'm from Jamaica. That's in the West Indies. Praise God. And what actually brought me to Prophet Samuel Kakanda Ministries is a back pain that I was feeling in my lower back. This pain brought me uh, many, many sleepless nights and it also... Um, caused me not to be able to perform well in what I do. I'm a caregiver, a geriatric nurse, so my duty is very active. And then for the last year, I started to feel the pain in my lower back. Then it radiates to my knees and then to my lower feet, this part of my feet. So even when I'm walking, I feel once I lift my heels, I feel the feet, I feel the knee, and I feel the back. So, you know, it begins to become very uncomfortable in my life. When I wake up in the morning, I feel the pain. I drive a lot. So when I'm supposed to come out of the vehicle, I feel the pain also. I decided to go to the doctor. I have never been sick in my life. So, you know, because of that, I decided to go to the doctor. Then the doctor recommended that I do an x-ray. After I did the x-ray, um, they read it to me and told me that I am diagnosed with a lumbar spondylosis in my lower back. And the doctor, he suggests that, you know, probably because of my age, I'm 64 years old, I'm going to have to live with it. And they gave me anti-inflammatory. I took that, you know, after the first two hours, the pain went away and then the pain came back. So when the pain came back, I began to feel very, very uncomfortable, which was noticeable. And even my daughter here, she noticed what was happening to me. So we were watching um, Prophet Samuel Kakande for the last five years on YouTube. And I said to my daughter, I need to go to Uganda. Uh, when we came here, um, I was fortunate to enter into the prayer line on Saturday. Amen. And so I went into the prayer line, as you can see, you know, as you see the activity that took place there in the name of Jesus. And after he was, he said, woman, rise up. You are healed. Praise God. So I just begin to walk initially. And then afterwards, I was able to to move around as you can see me now I really don't have to make an effort to stand I feel soldier like again I can walk I can move around usually I you know after work I just sat down sometimes I don't feel to go I feel very um, uncomfortable but now I can squat I can lift my feet I can turn around the things that I couldn't do you know I'm able to do it now so you know I just want to praise God right I don't have to make an effort usually I hold the chair to make sure it's steady but now I can just sit I can just stand Praise God. So I just want to thank God for the miracle that has taken place in my life. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And you know, uh, my daughter here, she can testify of what I have been through. And then I went to the hotel and I said to her, my back is healed. Praise God. So I just want to give all the glory to Almighty God who sent his word and healed me. And I want to give thanks to <laughs> Prophet Samuel Kakande, whom the Lord used to deliver me from this pain in the name of Jesus. Good morning, church. My name is Crystal. I am from Jamaica, and this is my wonderful mother, Vivine. We came here because, as she said, she has been suffering from the issue of back pain. She went to the doctor. She was diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis. 
and um, for about one year she has been suffering with this and it has intensified severely recently and I would for the first time in my life she came to me and she told me that she wanted to go to the doctor to the hospital and she's not a person that usually says that so I was very surprised and I knew that this was something really serious and really severe and I can remember one morning I woke up and I saw her and she was holding her back and I said to myself no this is really serious and uh, she told me that she wanted to visit the Kakande Ministries. I agreed and here we are today. She was opportune to go into the prior line and the man of God, Samuel Kakande, he prayed for her and today she is healed. Amen. To God be the glory, hallelujah. And so we thank Jesus Christ for doing this wonderful miracle of healing her. Praise God, thank you Jesus. I just want to say to my, per my people back home in Jamaica, even though we are far away in the West Indies, God has made the opportunity for me to be here and to be healed and to learn things uh, and to acknowledge his power. And he has made a way for me. While there is a will, there is a way. God can make the way for you too. There are many who are suffering from the same thing. And I want to encourage you to let you know that surely there is a prophet Sam well, Kakanda, who God uses in Uganda. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hello.